We shift our focus to the aftermath of the 7.4 magnitude earthquake that rattled northeast Japan on Wednesday, reportedly killing at least four. The force of nature cut off power and water supplies, and a high-speed train was derailed. Yishu has the latest. The earthquake that hit off the coast of Japan's eastern Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures on Wednesday has reportedly killed at least four people and injured at least 107 others. I woke up a little before midnight, surprised by the earthquake. I always open the door so I can escape. According to Asahi's report on Friday, the earthquake disrupted water supply to 17,000 households across five prefectures. Japan's self-defense forces set up temporary water stations and residents lined up to get water. And the quake cut power to over two million homes, although most of the power has been restored. The earthquake also caused a high-speed train to derail near Fukushima. According to public broadcaster NHK, 78 people were trapped for four hours after the train derailed but escaped unharmed through an emergency exit. Some trains were suspended due to the derailment and East Japan Railway said it may take a considerable amount of time until operations resume in full. Road traffic was disrupted as some highways in the region were closed on Thursday. Manufacturing was also affected by the quake. Toyota Motor Corporation and Nissan Motor Company have temporarily suspended factory operations in the area. The region was devastated by a huge earthquake and tsunami in 2011, which also damaged a nuclear power plant in Fukushima. The Chinese state-run Global Times reported on Thursday some analysts' worries that the recent quake may accelerate Japan's plan to discharge nuclear wastewater from that plant into the sea as earthquakes could increase the risk of storage tank leaks. The operator of the Fukushima plant said in December 2021 that it intends to build an underwater tunnel to release the contaminated water into the sea with plans for initial release in spring 2023. Meanwhile, the country's Nuclear Regulation Authority told the International Atomic Energy Agency on Thursday that this latest quake did not cause any issues at the three nuclear power plants in the area. Yi Shihu, Arirang News.